Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back. So, new GOATI support in Phantom Nightmare. It's basically, at least Phantom of Nightmare, Phantom Nightmare. New OCG set, which should be coming out within the next couple of weeks. And I think we could have expected this because a couple of weeks ago already featured GOATI, but with the new fish support, like the, the sharks, the, you know, sunfish, the container was spelled level 4 and level 2, right? Uh, it, it, the deck currently feels kind of awkward, as you see here in the ratios and the deck list are, are more so the new cards here right side of the, the deck profile. They got a new level 6, um, a very strong card, <laughs> it feels like you create your own card, this one. It's basi basically a Strattles when summoned, so it searches right, plus uh, with its full effect when it's banished, so from your ba from your graveyard or from field, whatever, you can re-special summon to the field and then, you know, gain its summoning effect when it's summoned, so very similar to Strattles, but um, both its effect, so its special summoning effect from, you know, when it's banished, plus its Strattles effect, you every time need to banish a card or a monster from either your grave or field, for example, depending on which effect you activate it. And, you know, with your goatees, your level 2s, that's, that's super, you know, that, that's cool, you could search your level 2, banish a level 2, or if you have some in your graveyard, you can banish those to, you know, special summon them again back to the field during your next turn. So, this new card is fantastic. The only reason why I'm not maxing it out, uh, you know, at 3 copies, it's because it's level 6. Again, kind of awkward to, to, you know, get it on the field. There are, you know, some easy ways with Abyss Keeper, the Link 2, um, uh, the level 2 Cody, the Lone Fire on, you know, banish itself to get something from your hand to the field. That's okay-ish. But again, it feels kind of awkward. And the other one is a new level 2, which basically, again, very similar to the other Goatees. They, or at least it, Kit, 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 I believe the name is, it can special summon itself to the field. It's an interruption card, you'll be seeing it within the next couple of moments. And um, it's, it's somewhat of an extender. It's a level 2 that can special summon itself, although it's not a tuner, and that's important. They also got a new Synchro, um, I mean, not Goatee, but it's a new Fish Synchro, uh, level 4 one. Um, it's basically a link cross, but sadly you won't get the two tokens upon summon. You only get those for when you know your level four synchro is used for a synchro summon. And again, it feels awkward for a couple of reasons. At first, I was like, "Oh man, this is nice," especially with the new one. The new level two is a non-tuner. Oh, you could make this new level four synchro, and then you know synchro up. But it feels awkward because you know your um, goatee level twos are most of them are already. A tuner, so that's awkward because you might have two tuners on field and you can't go for your, you know, your starter, your level 6 goatee. So that's awkward. Uh, another awkward thing, and I, I don't know why that is, is that this new level 4 synchro uh, tuner is uh, is a fire attribute. And that's, you know, kind of conflicts with a lot of your effects where, you know, you might be locked into only waters, right, for the turn. This is, I guess, an a new addition to the deck? Is it new? Probably. The fact that this um, this new level 6 searcher is able to search any fish from the deck. So you can search your deep seeking. Uh, and that's kind of consistent. The thing is, is that is it really worth it? Um, it might be. It might be. Simply because it's so easy to get on the field with your, what is it, Abyss Keeper, your Link 2. It basically summons any fish from your hands to the field. And that's an easy deep seeking on field, discard anything to basically summon, what is it, four, up to four fish types from your deck. And, I mean, depending on your setup, you can just summon your tuners, go for a rank 4 exceed play, the, the shark run, run right, that pops, makes all your monsters or your opponent's monsters waters, so there is no sunlight wolf play because you need, what is it, two fires, right? I think the only play here was um, uh, Stalio, right? But we can interrupt that. that, that's the thing with Goatee. Oh, this is the new one, the Keef, yeah, Keef, that's the name. So again, very similar to the other Goatees, the level 2, it can special summon itself during the next standby phase, and it gives the deck more interruption, like, the only small downside is that you can only use that interruption effect, so banish itself and a special summoned monster from your opponent, and then you can ban uh, special summon one of your Goatees that is banished. So that's okay, right? Reborn or special summon the level 6 Synchro, you won't get the search effect, right? Or the mill effect, banish effect. But you could use it for a Synchro summon, for a level 8 Synchro play, and so on. So this new card is cool, but this is the reason why I'm not making more copies of it. Because again, it feels kinda awkward. It's an extender, sure. It's a non-tuner, which could help out. But it feels that the Goatee deck for, at least we might get more support for Goatees. 
I think best best case scenario, they might just get a level four. An in-themed goatee level four that you know you're not forced to main deck those non-goatee or you know those fish level fours that are not searchable in any are hardly searchable without you know that, that shark one. Um I, I think that might make the deck much more consistent because now you're like main making some awkward engines which with the right cards can do some crazy stuff and I'm looking at that you know, white sunfish the, the, the new uh, you know like like the whale engine here in um, Phantom Nightmare uh, but I'm not so sure I'm also I'm still main making it simply because going first it could give you a little two bodies on field a potential tuner the shark one searches the level four what is it white sunfish I believe the name is uh, I can't like these names but you know which ones I mean um, because I don't I don't think there is any other um, engines you could main deck oh uh, look at the psychic <laughs> I didn't talk about the psychic psychic just yet but uh, Shifter, Shifter is there, Shifter, depending on the format, Shifter might actually be a, a semi-staple for the deck. Um, because again, looking at Horus, looking at Tier Element, <laughs> speaking of Tier Element, uh, Shifter might actually be um, somewhat of a semi-staple for the deck. I feel this is a, might, might actually be a 3 of the, I'm not too familiar with the name, it's the Armageddon Knight. The one that, you know, special summoned off of Keeper, uh, sent something to the graveyard and the field spell? In my previous build I was running more copies of the field spell because especially with this new one, the new level 6, it, it activates, special summons itself back from the banished pile when it's banished. Your field spell can banish cards from the graveyard, so monsters from the graveyard, which could trigger your level 6 and then, you know, reborn your level 6, search, etc. Uh, but do you really want to main make more copies of the field spell? It's not really a field spell that's... It's not like, like let's say, for uh, Kashtera, you know, your um, your planet, right? Planet searches upon uh, upon activation and it has more effects. This doesn't do that. Even though it's an okay field spell, I'm not so sure if you really want to main deck more copies. The only reason why I would main deck more copies is because of thrust. You could like search for uh, terraforming and then you know terraforming for field spell, maybe, maybe, if you have the space. Um, so a lot of interruptions here, and it's I guess still the cool gimmick of go uh, of uh, goatees, <laughs> not goki, but goatees uh, using those couple of level twos. I'm not so sure if I want to main that. I, I think it's Sep, the level two that only special summons itself and it's banished during your opponent's turn. I think so. That I think that's Sep. Do we really want to main like more copies of that? Because again, it's kind of like a brick. But I mean, you want to have, you want to have one in your deck at all time because of this. Um, and that's also where this new card is coming to play, is that this new level 6 makes it so that uh, even with any like basic 2 card interaction, you could have like a couple of uh, interruptions during your opponent's turn, go for like a level 6 synchro play, go for level 8, you know, the one that banishes one card from your opponent and then one from you, you could make a level 10 synchro play after that, banish the entire board. With those searches, you can drop the, what is it, the level 6, the right card in my hand. The one that banishes two and gets it on board, right? So again, it, it plays during your opponent's turn as well. So there is potential, but I'm not so sure. I think so. We can still expect maybe one or two goatee cards, but again, correct me if I'm wrong. But what are they still missing from what I feel? Again, I'm not a goatee expert. Um, it, it took me a while to get used to the cards again. Um, a level 4, an in-themed level 4, maybe a tuner, maybe a non-tuner to uh, make like any normal summon goatee level 2 tuner plus extender a, a super solid play. Now, angler is potentially there, the silent angler, but that one blocks you from special summoning from hand. So if you search deep seeking, it blocks you from using keeper. So again, that kind of feels awkward. It, for now, it feels awkward. So that's why the ratios might seem awkward at first. But again, like feedback is definitely appreciated. I'm not running a level 4 Synchro Tuner. I don't think it's needed. At least I might have missed some lines, but again, let me know. Gold Sark is an option. Terraforming is an option. The Princess is also an option. The Lone Fire Blossom. But again, like feel free to leave suggestions. Okay, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a card or like if you enjoyed the video. Thank you for signing out. Peace.